Good morning, friends. It's day two of exploring Florence. It is just after 9 a.m. We are trying to avoid being in the heat again today. So this time we're walking into the city center, ignoring the long way, but we're going straight in. But as we went in, we have passed Pilazzo Pitti, Pitti Palace and place and courtyard. It is a palace that now has an art gallery and some other collectibles from the Renaissance era. Looks like it's about 19 euros to go inside. I'm going to avoid it because my goal today is to be in the city center and to be back before the heat it really gets bad because it's supposed to be 36 degrees Celsius today. It feels less humid, which means that the shade actually provides you some relief. Whereas yesterday it was so humid that being in the shade didn't make a difference versus being in the sun. I also need to find myself a ball cap, you know, a hat. This street as well has their pride flags out, which I am so happy and supportive to see for the American Pride Month. currently standing on Ponte Vicio, which is a medieval bridge which has Roman arches as you can see behind me and it is filled with jewelry shops and local so souvenir shops. It's quite amazing because of its time the doorways are much smaller and you can tell that there is definitely some character, an original character with the doors and the entranceways. There's also plenty of jewelry and gold and diamonds and glitter and things for tourists to go around. I'm in the city center of Florence because we're over the river and our plan today is to go explore more of the touristy areas but it is already so crowded which is just not my thing but I know I'm one of them. We'll see how much we can do. Yesterday definitely snuck into a restaurant and used their washroom, but the door kind of seemed like the washroom belonged to the building, not the restaurant. So this morning I needed to use the washroom, restroom, bathroom, toilet, whatever you call it, again. And I saw the same one and I went to go in and then he said buongiorno and then something in Italian. I was like, I don't speak Italian. And then he's like, fine. So then I use the same washroom that I think he said like it's part of the restaurant you have to eat here. But then when I left I was like grazie mille and he was like had such a nice smile so maybe I flirted my way into a free washroom. Don't really care because honestly their washroom was disgusting anyway so I wasn't happy to use it. I've been exploring, walking around town, just, you know, window shop and look in, but we also found the Santa Maria Cathedral behind me. This is also the Santa Maria Piazzi. 
I got work on that word, but the, um, the courtyard, the place, the sun is definitely beating down in this courtyard, but there are some beautiful flowers and we're gonna explore and get a little closer to the church. If you'd like to enter the Santa Maria Novella just for prayer, it is free, otherwise it is seven euros and 50 cents to enter. And I've booked the Duomo in about two days, so my money has gone towards that. You can also tell just how touristy this area is based on what's being sold by vendors. And there is plenty of people arriving with their suitcases. What a place to arrive to and to stay in and to look over if that was your view waking up every morning. It's pretty special. We have been taken up to a town just out of side of Florence called Fiazzole and we just had a shaken iced coffee you could call it. Oh. Apparently it was a 3 out of 10 according to the local. I thought it was like an 8 out of 10. It was like a nice iced coffee, but it should have had more froth. There is a wedding, a very luxurious wedding may I mention, leaving the castle. And now we will be walking up this hill towards the monastery and exploring more. It is the best way to get here is by scooter, so obviously you need to find a local or rent one yourself. What a view on the way up. Oh, I see the stadium this time. So, Santa Croce is there. Mm -hmm. You see? Duomo. Oh, yep, yeah, now I see it. Yeah, Duomo. So Palazzo Vecchio. And behind, behind Duomo there is Pitti Palace. Yep. So we are in the hills. Uh, yeah. After the, in that direction. It's a little bit of a hike. It's a little, but it's 36 degrees out, folks. I got my Lark water bottle with me to reach the top here, the monastery. And my lovely friend, he said that I will go through the gardens to get down. What magical place that this was created thousands of years ago. Blows my mind. The one piece people vloggers don't talk about is going back to get your Yeah. 
arriva un torso di qua arriva il pratolino di qua davanti grazie il parco è giù Fiesole. You see the tower? Oh, yeah. No. Good day, friends. This morning we have started the day by having a very sweet breakfast at Giorgio's. If you don't have a local, you probably would never know existed. And my god, the mythos, the pastries, the cream, the chocolate. Even a cappuccino with soy milk was heavenly. Now we're in the region of Chianti, and you can hear the Italian men in the background yelling over there. It's hot, though. This is also the uh, I heard. Oh, you're you're recording now. That's okay. That's fine. 